It's been more than a year of the pandemic and students are still not in schools. Besides years of learning loss, what is the economic impact of school closures? Report by the Centre for Market Education and Vital Amana estimated that it can cost up to 80 billion ringgit per year and produce up to 2,000 ringgit earning losses annually per worker when schools are closed. Here to discuss their findings and ways to safely reopen schools is CME President Dr. Carmelo Ferlito. From the economic perspective, we estimated that uh, the GDP loss can be uh, up to uh, 80 billion ringgit Malaysia per year or 5.4% of the GDP. And uh, for, um, uh, for workers, for, uh, for uh, wage earners, the loss can be up to 2,000 ringgit a year in the future. So in a range between 400 and 2,000 ringgit uh, per year. And these are figures that are mainly due to um, delayed education, missed education, uh, prolonged, uh, prolonged problems, uh, deficit, in, uh, deficit in learning, and um, uh, added on all the income that you lose uh, by missing years of education. Dr. Carmelo advocates for the safe reopening of schools that involves mass and frequent COVID-19 screening to ensure early detection among students in order to curb the spread of the virus. That the gold standard uh, for a safe reopening of schools is introducing mass rapid frequent testing. It means uh, so mass uh, frequent uh, rapid testing. That means that you um, test every kid and every employee of each school every Monday. Uh, and uh, those that are tested positive are sent home for isolation or treatment. And those that are negative, negative can go ahead as usual. By testing everybody on a weekly basis, you will have the advantage of early detection. And therefore, you will avoid uh, development of heavy symptoms. And at the, at the same time, you would avoid um, the asymptomatic spread of the virus that account up to 30% of the spread nowadays, according to the most recent uh, researches. And we can do that if we allow in Malaysia to enter also the rapid, uh, the rapid test kit, which are much cheaper than the traditional PCR test. We are talking about five US dollars. And therefore, they can be affordable by employers, by employees, and by students and their families. We need to be more creative. In example, we know that uh, uh, outdoor transmissions are almost impossible. So we, we are blessed by the fact that Malaysia is a hot weather climate. So why not do education outdoor and improve outdoor activities that will give the possibility for students to safely go to school and at the same time also to boost their immune system by exposure to fresh air and sunlight.